Yo, 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 what's good, fans and fight fans? This is your boy, JP Trap House Boxing, man. I'm back again with another video. Shout out to the LDBC, man. Smash that like button. Smash that subscribe button. Share the video always and leave your thoughts and comments at the end of the video. And if you're looking for that exclusive street news, go subscribe to Urban Media Fix. And every Wednesday at 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time, the LDBC will be getting together. We'll be doing our live stream at the Smoke City Mobcast. So make sure you go subscribe to the Smoke City Mobcast and hit that icon alert bell so you don't miss this fire that we drop at 9 o'clock p.m. on Wednesday night. Now we got all that out the way. And uh, I'm going to talk to y'all about this Anthony Yard versus uh, Tony Averland post-fight review, man. Anthony Yard looked at pretty much the same you know he keep he i don't know man it's these opponents that he be fighting man that they be seeming like they don't want to bring bring the pain to him and it's kind of really hard for me to really judge or get a good gauge on how good anthony yard really is you know because i haven't really seen no worthy opponent yet you know that's just done tested him yet so, I mean, it's it's kind of hard for me to pinpoint how good, good he is. He looks good. <clears throat> you know, he got the movement and the, the skill set, but, you know, I don't know. It's the type of guys he's fighting. You know, but nevertheless, though, he he basically just beat this dude up for about seven, eight rounds, man. He beat him up, you know, slowly but surely. And after a while, you know, old boy got up out of there. So, you know. That was pretty much it, just towards him around. But at some point to the fight, you know, Tony Everlin was trying to fight back and hold his own, but it just wasn't enough, man. It wasn't enough to keep Yard up off of him. Yard kept the pressure on the whole fight, stalking him, chasing him, punching on him. Uh, you know, just that's basically what, that's it, what happened. You know, I thought, I thought that he should have got him out of there earlier than that, but... Apparently he, you know, I don't know why. And plus, I was caught up looking at the uh, the World Box of Super Series and watching this at the same time. But you know, I didn't really miss too much. You know, I was able to keep a good eye on it. And uh, like I said, you know, this guy was in survival mode the first two rounds. The third round, he started trying to fight a little more, and then he started moving. Every time he get hurt, I don't know what it was, but he he wasn't trying to. Uh, like I said, he wasn't fighting like he was trying to get Anthony Yard up out of there. He was just fighting like he was just trying to make it to ten to the tenth round. You know. Now, like I said, I need to see somebody that's gonna bring it to him at this light heavyweight, man. That's the only way I'm gonna really get a good gauge on how good Anthony Yard really is. But other than that, I really like I say, he, he looks to be, you know, good. And like I said, some of his skill set looks good, but it's who he's fighting. You know, and no disrespect to, to his opponents or him, but that's, you know, what his team got mapped out for him. But it's your boy, JB Trap House Boxing. We you waiting on subscribe. I'll holler.